Good morning, everyone. Um, I am going to work on a tag that I received from Make Me Over Andy. Um, I'll definitely put her information on her channel um, below after I finish. And I want to point out that I'm wearing absolutely nothing on my face right now. Um, and this will probably be one of the few times that I actually record myself like this because I do not like this look on me at all. Um, my bare face is hideous to me. But all that aside, let's get to the tag. I'm going to be looking back and forth because the questions are on the screen um, and I'll also put the questions below for you because as you know, if you haven't done this tag already and you're watching this video, tag, you're it. Okay, skincare. How many times do you wash your face daily? Well, the minimum number is two. Uh, if I come home and I feel like I'm completely melting, sometimes what I'll do, um, like after work or, you know, midday, evening, I'll uh, put face oil. I'll kind of cleanse my face with a cleansing face oil. Right now I'm using one from uh, Shumera. And then um, and wash at night, wash the rest off at night. Uh, what skin type do I have? That's a really good question. Um, because I'm broken out here. I've got a couple of blemishes here. Uh, but I'm not oily. I think I wouldn't even call, because the choices are dry, oily, or combo. I don't even think I'd call my skin that. I'd call my skin aging. Um, so whatever comes along with aging is what I, I am now. Um, I'm starting to get comfortable with that, but I'm still in a little bit of denial. Everybody wants to stay young. Young looking anyway. What is my current face, facial wash? Well, my current facial wash is a L'Oreal Youth Code foaming, I believe it's called foaming cleansing gel. It's, it's pink in color. I do like it. I find it to be a bit, I don't want to say harsh. It's just when I wash my face, um, I don't like to feel that tight feeling. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'm using too much or I need to back off or maybe just do that cleanser instead of a cleansing oil and that cleanser because I believe that cleanser also um, states right on the label that it will remove makeup so I probably should just use that instead of using my cleansing oil and then using that cleanser do I exfoliate yes I have but I have a fear of exfoliation because I have this un it's probably irrational unreasonable whatever you'd like to call it I have a fear that I will exfoliate my skin right off my face and I know that sounds super stupid but when I was younger I can remember using like the um, Queen Helene mint thing that everybody uses that scrubby Queen Helene thing that everybody was so raving about and I think some people still do rave about and that stuff's way too harsh even the St. Ives brand uh, apricot kernel scrub, way too harsh for my face. I would never ever use that now. So I alternate. Um, I mostly use Dermalogica, my, I think it's called microthermofoliant. I don't want to say that. Or daily, I have, my husband has one called daily cleansing scrub, but I think that's for your body. But I, I do use a Dermalogica product, but um, I have a smaller Vichy products that I'm trying to use up and the the products that I look for what I look for in an exfoliant um, or exfoliating product is something that has those micro granules in it so it's not an incredibly harsh scrub um, it just feels very gentle and then I was told um, how to exfoliate um, especially around here which is the delicate area which is the part that I'm scared to death I'm going to scrub right off my face and just using small circles and really being gentle around that area um, apparently works so I exfoliate twice a week yeah yeah what moisturizer do I use this is a really good question because right now I'm, I'm in between I just finished up Oh, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even tell you what it was. But um, I'm kind of in between. I've been using like um, my sunscreen kind of as my moisturizer because I have a, a sunscreen product that has moisturizing properties. But I know that's probably not the right answer. So um, I have plenty of moisturizers in my stash. I've got to go look for one. So this is a great reminder. Uh, do I have freckles? Yes. 
Yes, I have freckles. I have freckles. I actually consider this hyperpigmentation, but I do have freckles. I have freckles on my face. I have freckles on my body. Yeah. So I have weird, really weird freckle right here, actually. See it? So if you ever see me laying out on the road somewhere and you can't identify me, look for this freckle. It's on my left hand. Do I use eye cream? Yes, of course I do, especially now that I'm aging. Um, right now I'm using 100% pure caffeine bean eye cream, and I'm using it mainly because I want to use it up. I'm not thrilled with it. It's okay, but I don't see any big differences with it. So um, I also have, uh, Visanti makes one called I Wonder, which is great, and I actually like using that one at night. Um, and I am doing a review, which I'm posting on, guest posting on my friend Alicia's blog. And I'm, I talk about the Balm Cosmetics Time Balm Concealer. And that um, can also be used at night as um, kind of a wrinkle fighter. So yeah, you should definitely check that post up when it goes up. Um, I'm not sure when it's going up. But I'll put uh, Alicia's blog uh, link down in the info bar too, because that... That blew my mind. I mean, concealer to, wearing concealer to bed? Who would have thought, right? Do you or did you have acne-prone skin? Yes. At one point in my life, I did. Probably more when I was a teenager. I didn't have bad breakouts on my face, but I did have breakouts like on my chest and on my arms. And I have some scarring there, which apparently you can't ever get rid of, according to dermatolog uh, dermatologists here in Canada. I don't really believe that, though. So we'll see. I might get a second opinion. I think, and I know this is going to sound terrible, I think for the right price, you can really have anything you want. Did you ever have to use Proactive? No, and I will never use Proactive, and I will never recommend it to anybody. That stuff is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. No one should use Proactive. That will ruin your skin. Makeup. What foundation do I use? Foundation. Okay. I'm a big, uh, I, I have all sorts of foundations, and a lot of times I use my foundation by the season. Right now, I'm using um, two, and I alternate. Um, I use uh, Dalish, which is a, a Canadian brand. She makes a set of three, um, three kind of pigments, mineral-based pigments, and one is white, then one is um, like a beige, and one is a darker, like, a darker brown and what you do is you put little drops you know depending on on what your skin tones like you put uh, drops on your hand and then you mix it together and apply it and it's got a shade adjust technology so it, it will look for like you know kind of light colors and and really blend into your skin I'm really loving that um, and I love it because it's a Canadian brand um, and I love it because it's mineral based so it it does it does good stuff for my skin. The other foundation I use is um, my YSL. Um, gosh, is it, what is it? I keep forgetting what it is. It's not Perfect Touch. Is it Radiance? I, I don't remember. But um, I use that too, and I like that. The only problem with that, and it's not really a problem, is I just have to go a little bit heavier on the bronzer because, uh, believe it or not, I'm actually starting to get a little color on my face. Um, and that's not because I'm sitting out there baking, sitting outside baking. It's because I'm um, just outside, you know, and it just comes even, even with my sunscreen. And it's very important to wear sunscreen on your face, by the way, and your whole body. And reapply every two hours. Okay, how about concealer? Well, I just talked about concealer. So I use the um, Balm, the, the Balm Time Balm Concealer. And I also have the YSL Touche Cloth, which um, I'll use... But I'm, I'm really moving away from that for some reason. I just, I'm not, I'm not happy with it. I might actually go for Dior's version, but I want to use that up first because there's no need to, to just toss that um, right now. What do you think of fake eyelashes? Okay, well, if you're talking about strip lashes, um, I don't really wear full strip lashes. I have maybe once or twice. I do, I'm a huge fan, and that came just recently um, after I got my makeup done this past week at L'Oreal, of the uh, half lashes. 
um, especially the ones that kind of fan out and are longer on the, the sides. I put them here, or I had them applied here, I should say, and I love that look. So I'm a huge fan of that. Um, I also... I'll recommend eyelash extensions if you if you don't want to have to take eyelashes, fake eyelashes off and, you know, clean them, put them back in the case. But uh, eyelash extensions are really high maintenance. And even for somebody that's as, as complicated as I can be, I had some trouble with the maintenance. Um, plus, they don't feel like your eyelashes. And I personally do like uh, the act of put, applying mascara, and I have a ton of mascaras to use and review and test, so, you know, I, I, I like them, and I do get them, but I probably won't get the eyelash extensions as frequently as I used to. Did you know you were supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes, of course, I knew that. I think that's, I think that's it. Let me just check. Oh, my computer is so slow. My computer is so slow. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, there's a whole bunch more. Oh, my goodness. Um, what brand of mascara do I use? Oh, that's a really good one. Right now, my absolute favorite is, um, my absolute favorite is my Dior Show, Dior New Look Mascara. Yeah, it's their brand new mascara that they came out with. Love that mascara. Um, but I'm also using a new one by L'Oreal called Volume Collagen Plus, and I like that one too. That one, to me, the L'Oreal version would be like my everyday, and my um, Dior would be like my, hey, you're going out, bam, kind of mascara. Uh, la, 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 la. Where am I? Oh my gosh. Um, Sephora or MAC, neither. Um, Sephora here uh, is, I, I, I try to stay away. I try to stay away. Service is terrible. It's uh, touch and go. And um, I had an incident there. I think I may have uh, done a video about it where basically I had like the entire staff lie to my face, which is really bogus as far as I'm concerned. So I try not to go there. And Mac, I've, I've just stopped buying Mac. Um, and that's, yeah, I just don't think I'm going to go back. I'm just not happy with their lipsticks and their formulas. And they come out with a lot of cool colors, but... You know, if my lips are, are drying out with their lipsticks, and I just don't, I don't want to do it. It's just too much for me. It's too heavy. Do I have a Mac Pro card? No. It's for the reason that I just said. Um, and I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist, so, you know, I'm a blogger. I'm a product junkie. What makeup tools do you use in makeup application? Gosh, I have a lot of brushes. A lot of brushes. Um, and sometimes I'll use a lash curler, but not really. Do you use makeup base primer for the eyes? Yes, I do. Uh, my old uh, my old faithful is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I do have Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but I'm waiting until I finish up my primer potion before I use it. I know people really love the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm not sure I'm going to. Um, and quite frankly, I'm kind of disappointed in myself for buying the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So... We'll see how it goes. I'll give it a chance and try to remain uh, open-minded. Do I use a uh, base primer for the face? Yes, I do. Um, and the one that I'm absolutely loving right now is uh, Dermalogica's new Skin Perfect Primer, SPF 30. Um, and I I love it. It's an, it's from their Age Smart line, so it's uh, good for aging skin, which is what I have. And um, it's tinted. Um, but it's only, it only comes in one shade, so obviously if you're a woman of color, then you wouldn't want to wear the shade probably, unless your skin is, is more fair or more light, um, because it will look, it won't look right. But what I like about it, um, I don't even wear it by itself. It's tinted, but it, there's no, honestly, there's no coverage, but it, my makeup just goes on so well. Um, and I, I love that. And when I'm not using that, I love my Shoe Amera Under Base Mousse, which also has SPF. Um, I'm loving these uh, primers and these new technologies and textures with the, with the SPF products. Really important. You should definitely go and check those two items out if you haven't already. Uh, what is your favorite eyeshadow? Oh, that is really, that, that's too hard. Um, favorite eyeshadow. I mean, brand-wise, I, I can't even tell you brand-wise. I, I have so much, so many different eyeshadows. I love 
like my top my top ones are probably oh my gosh uh, I have I have Dior, I have Burberry, I have uh, L'Oreal, I have Annabelle, I have Marcel, Lee Swatche, Wet n Wild shades that I love. Um, the Balm Cosmetics they have palette. Urban Decay their naked palette. That that's that's too hard. That's that question's too broad. Pencil or liquid eyeliner? Normally pencil, liquid, but usually I have to have somebody else apply it because I'm not steady. Um, how often do I poke my eyes with an eyeliner pencil? Oh, every time I use the eyeliner pencil, I poke myself in the face. Yeah. What do I think of pigment eyeshadows? I think pigment eyeshadows are okay if you use them the right way, if you have a good technique. I very rarely use pigments, um, and that, that is because I don't have any patience. Um, if I had patience, I'd use pigments more often because they are beautiful. I'm assuming you mean like loose pigments. That's, that's what my answer meant. Uh, do I use mineral makeup? Yes, I talked about that. I'm using the Dalish uh, Mineral Foundation. Uh, I have also used Bare Minerals, or Bare Essentials, uh, and uh, I don't really stay, I stay away from it. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes in the summer I'll switch over to the, the uh, loose minerals, just because my skin, obviously, because I sweat, is a little bit more oily and I want it to absorb, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm staying with liquid lately. What is my favorite lipstick? Oh, again. I don't know. I have so many. I have so many. And there's so many brands that I like. The, if you had to, it, it would be right now, if I was hard-pressed to answer that question, it would be a toss-up between the Dior, um, I think it's called Lip Glow, and the new L'Oreal, uh, I can't even, I cannot say this with a French accent, Caress. Maybe I just did it. Um, lipsticks, because those are super moisturizing and awesome. Um, and the colors are great. Like, what you see is what you get. And I like that. Um, lip gloss. Again, I, I you know, I, these, questions are, these questions are really difficult to answer. They, they had to narrow them down a little bit. Lip gloss. I don't, I have so many lip glosses that I absolutely love. Um, my friend Carrie makes... Um, probably my favorite, I think she should rename it to Meredith, um, lip glosses ever. They're just super, um, super sparkly, but not obnoxious sparkly and chunky and gross. And they just go on like a dream. But then I have a Dior gloss that I love, a couple Dior glosses I love. Um, and I also, I love the Marie, I don't know if it's Marie Nate or Marie Nate, which is also a Canadian company. She makes great lip glosses, um, and I did a review on them too. And they're they're just wonderful, wonderful. And again, very natural ingredients, not sticky, perfect. What is my favorite blush to use? I mean, this changes with me. This changes all the time. So if you were to ask me that right now, um, it would actually be a Mac product, believe it or not, that I'm trying to use up called uh, Daft Pink, and that's a mineralized uh, blush, so it's got the different kind of uh, colors swirled into it. It's just a nice pink blush, and what I like about it is it has shimmer, so it kind of adds a highlight at the top of my cheekbones right here. So, do I buy my makeup on eBay? No. That was easy. Do I like drugstore makeup? Yes. Um, and I have quite a bit of it, especially when I go to the States, I get even more. Do I go to CCOs? Now, I actually had to look this up because I didn't know what this was. So these are apparently our company cosmetic, cosmetic company outlet stores. Do we have any of those here? Because I don't think I've gone to those. Like we have big warehouse sales like Mac, Lisa's, um, cosmetics, and then uh, L'Oreal has one. I think Sh Sh Shiseido has one. We have those. I've been to those. Uh, did you ever consider taking makeup classes? Yes. But um, right now I've got so many other things going on that it's not a big enough desire that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the time to, to go out and do that. Like I said, I'm more of a product junkie and I have a lot of respect for makeup artists. Um, it is an art and it's something that they train for and they go to school for. So that's why you won't see a, a hell of a lot of, uh, heck of a lot, oh, terrible language. Uh, that's why you won't see a lot of tutorials on my channel because um, to me, like I can show you how to do something, but if, if you want to really learn technique, I feel like you have to go to a makeup artist 
makeup artist for that. So that's just my opinion. Um, I love Face of the Days and I love tutorials. It's just I don't think that um, I'm at, I don't have the skill to do that. So, are you clumsy in putting on makeup? Yep, I am. Yeah. A makeup crime that I hate. Well, gosh, I probably commit one by not filling in my eyebrows every day. But um, the one that I can remember, and I don't really see people doing it now, is, is that really harsh pencil liner that you can see with the lip and the lighter lipstick, and then you can still see the line. I hate that. I also hate um, tattooed eyebrows. I don't like that either. It's, uh, that's weird to me. That's weird. Uh, do you like colorful shades of makeup or neutral ones? I like both. I don't limit myself. Um, neutrals are great. And um, they're good if you have to work in like a conservative environment. Um, I work in a conservative environment, but my office is pretty flexible, so I kind of wear whatever I want. But I think it's important... Um, I think it's important to, to try both, to use both. I do. Which celebrity always has great makeup? I don't, you know what? I don't even pay attention to that, to be honest. I mean, celebrities have professional people working on them all the time. If I had professional people working on me all the time, I'd have great makeup all the time, too. If you could leave the house using just one makeup item, what would you use? It would be foundation. I don't leave the house without foundation. My face is a mess, as you can see right now. Um, could you ever leave the house with any makeup on? No. No, I couldn't. Do you think you look good even without makeup on? No. No, I don't. I prefer having makeup on. Um, I would never, never, I would, I don't think I would consciously choose to be photographed without having makeup on unless we're doing a before after. Um, yeah, I just like makeup. In your opinion, what is the best makeup line? I can't answer that. I, I think almost every line has something that I like, um, with the exception of, of Mac, but I, I mean, that's, I can't even say that. I'm like contradicting myself because I just talked about a Mac blush that I use. So, um, I think all makeup lines have something to offer. And, um, if you like makeup, then you, you're going to look, look through and, and pick out what you like. Um, I have favorites, but I have too many favorites to list. So if you've watched my videos or, or read my blog, you know what they are. And, and you can go and experiment and find out more about that if you want. So, okay, that's it. So I'm going to get this uploaded and then um, get my laundry out of the dryer, eat some breakfast. Um, and then I want to see what you guys have to say about this. Um, there's a couple people that I'm, I've specifically got in mind to do this tag because I really want to hear their answers. So, um, and believe me, you already know who you are. So have a great day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll do the same. Thanks for watching. Bye.